Okay, next example, which is our last example. Now is the same example, but instead of one bar, now we have one bar, one hundred bar. Okay, so now repeat example five ten, the same example. In the case when the operating pressure in the both shell and tube is one hundred, now I have a new pressure. My pressure is not one any more but the method is exactly the same thing material is the same so now I have a pressure I need to go find the new pressure factor before we had one bar the pressure factor was one now we have to find it we use again the same equation but now we have to go read the new C1 C2 C3 material of construction is the same so per the material factor is the same the base price the price at one atmosphere and three uh, and carbon steel is again the same the same the same value that we find from the figure okay at one that, that figure is again that figure that we find the price is for 2001 and one bar that's why the pre the factor is one but we have to now we have another pressure that we have to correct correct it so we have the base price which is 25,000 is the same now we have different pressure we have to go we have to go to this table and find C1, C2, C3 for our pressure so for floating head floating head my pressure now is 100 alright which is in this range my pressure is 100 which is between 5 to 140 so this is my C1 C2 C3 for the heat exchanger so I will use these three C's to find the new pressure factor sorry okay C1 C2 C3 so you put all C1 C2 C3 in this equation and your pressure is 100 bar put all together here and at the end you will find the pressure factor FB 1.38 okay 1.38 so now again the same equation you see now I don't use uh, I don't use zero here anymore because it's not in reference condition it's not in one bar anymore so I use CM CBM is this is the bare module cost so CP0 is already given is the same 25,000 B1 we knew it from before B2 we knew it FM1 FP we just calculated here B1 B2 FP just calculated and 1 and the cost is 98,000 compared with your this pressure less than any okay so this this is not important just forget about part B because you need to know some additional information that we is out of the scope. The, the only out of the scope of this unit, the only thing that you need to know that the price will increase. Before what we find, how much we find? We find total price 82. Now at 100 bar 98. 8298 almost sixteen thousand dollar because the pressure is higher so we need more material more testing to be done so we are almost done with this part uh, so here uh, is just uh, one additional example that is asking us to compare let's say a heat exchanger that has an area of 100 uh, 100 uh, square meter area so compare different scenarios the heat exchanger is made of carbon steel at one bar carbon steel at 100 bar SNS steel at one bar SNS steel at 100 bar so it's like like in this table like he already calculate we already calculate that I just show you like what's the difference between this value so um, you know like just comparing like what's the effect of material what's the effect of pressure so let's say for pressure one bar and 100 bar material construction carbon steel stainless steel carbon steel stainless steel so the base price for all of them is the same cp0 the base price so this is actually this data or you know like this 
these examples they continue we have two other examples that I'm not gonna show here that in those example uh, like you need to go find the effect of uh, you, you need to go find the FM different materials and you need to, there are tables figure that you can find this FM the material const I mean the material factor so then once you do that you will have all the information as I said no need to know it for now we already work on these two example carbon is still in one bar and 100 bar there are two examples that you need to do calculation for a stainless steel so uh, the base price for all of them is the same 25,000 K is 4,000 each K is one kilo actually is 1,000 okay so this is CP mm -hmm. the CP by considering the effect of pressure and material is also listed here uh, the C C and B. The the this is cost of equipment actually. Okay, cost of equipment. Uh, you see that the effect of uh, the effect of carbon steel is a lot. So, I mean, a stainless car. There is a big difference between carbon steel and a stainless steel. Carbon steel and a stainless steel. They have a big difference in the in the price of the equipment. Okay, but for the bare module okay so the bare module at the reference condition it means uh, for the for the reference okay bare module cost for the reference condition which means which means one bar and carbon steel for all of them is the same 82 but c and b the bare module cost that consider the effect of pressure and carbon steel i mean the material will be also different from each of them so the base condition the base price of the equipment is the same for all of them. The base price of module, the module cost that consider labor in installation, everything. The base for, for the same for all of them is the same. Why is the same? Because in calculating all of these two factor, we consider only one bar and carbon acid. That's why for all of them is the same as carbon acid and one bar. But CP, the price of equipment. This is the equipment itself. This is the equipment with installation. Uh, testing material labor all together so this this two factors will be different depending to the pressure and material of construction this is kind of conclusion about this part and okay okay uh, one one important thing let's go back to this table okay in this table what you see okay in this table when we were calculating the bare module factor we have direct cost indirect cost contingency and fee but we don't usually but most of the time we don't usually involve them okay we have also tax taxation this kind of fees then most of the time we don't consider them or we don't involve them in the in the uh, in the calculation we do, we add this fees we usually calculate up to here because this 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 part up to here direct and direct cost is the most important one but those factors those values that you have in the figures in the uh, in the table they usually don't consider contingency and contingency and other fees in the modules in the for example bare module factor or the total cost factor uh, bare module cost the reason is that this fees they will change really from one place to another one from one country to another one is really related to the governmental regulations you know a lot of things involved in that that's why we add them separately at the end so we first calculate the total module cost cbm and then we will add the contingency and other fee in the total cost so this slide is talking about that this slide here is talking about that so is so what we have to do we have to the total we are going to okay we already talked about bare module cost cbm 
Now we will talk only a little bit about total module cost. C total. We show it in this way. So BM CBM bare module cost for equipment we already calculated. We did some examples. We we already know how to do it. Total module cost that consider the contingency and fee because CBM as I just explained a few seconds ago this consider only direct and indirect cost for we have some other costs like contingency or other fees maybe taxes that we need to also include so what we will do when we want to calculate the total cost let's say for the plant I have 10 equipment heat exchanger uh, I don't know pumps I have towers everything so I go find CBM the bare module cost for each of each equipment I sum all together and then for the final calculating the final total cost okay final total cost I just corrected by this factor 1.80 which is for considering the contingency and any other fee that we have that this will give us give me the total cost of the equipments with inner installation material everything so contingency usually we consider 15 percent for contingency and three percent for some other fees totally how much 15 plus 13 totally is 18 percent so if i have if the total cost here is 100 percent i have to add 18 percent more that gives me 118 person or 118 person or the factor that I need to add will be 1.18 this 1.18 is coming from here 1.18 and the last slide in this video is uh, okay is a factor again is which is not very important uh, is uh, grace roots cost is another uh, uh, another uh, uh, is another factor is another parameter that we need to find sometimes grace roots cards also is when we consider the auxiliary facilities the cost of auxiliary facilities grace root cost is when we consider the uh, the uh, as as we said we had direct cost indirect cost we had contingency fees so like those are the costs that we have we have also auxiliary facility costs if you remember in slide 19 i think so we had auxiliary facility costs so we consider the contingency and fee cost here by this factor if we need to consider the auxiliary facilities cost we will use this equation so we will find our total cost module CTM CTM from this equation CTM and then plus we need to go we, we, we use the bare module cost at base condition one atmosphere one bar and carbon steel for all equipment sum all together times 0.5 and this is how we find the grace root cost that consider the cost of auxiliary facility so let's say for uh, auxiliary facilities like the warehouses administration offices i don't know storage places so dip, depending to which type of equipment we are using we need also some auxiliary uh, facilities that to consider the cost of auxiliary facility we use this equation the cost of the equipments at base condition one bar and carbon steel all together some all together times 0.5 or 50 percent of the total cost of the equipment at base condition why we use base condition reference condition because the auxiliary facilities they don't depend to pressure and material of construction the storage that we build that we make it shouldn't is not it is not depend it doesn't depend to the operating pressure or material of construction of heat exchanger the administration office that we have it doesn't depend to the the, the the office that we have how big or small is that office doesn't depend to the 
to the pressure or the operating pressure of heat exchanger or the material of construction of the heat exchanger right so that's all for this video i'm gonna stop here i'm gonna uh, upload another video for the remaining part of this unit thank you